You know, we get asked a lot of times about um, shooting with your child and when do you think they're old enough? And to be honest, I don't think there's an exact age for that. We've had Kaden shooting since she was really young. And um, even if it was just starting her with a little uh, BB gun, you know, start with a BB gun, but we never let her shoot anything lighthearted. And I guess what I mean by that is we just didn't give her a BB gun and let her develop bad habits early. Uh, we took that BB gun, treated it as if it was a big rifle for her. To her, that was her gun. We did all the same safety tips, all the same hunting tips as far as how you carry it, uh, taking it off safety, shooting down range. We covered all the safety things that you have to cover with anybody, but especially with a kid, early and often. You know, gun safety is so important. You know, um, as a parent, that's one thing that me and Chad try to make sure of is that we're teaching Caden gun safety. You know, you shoot, uh, you put that gun back on safety, you never point a gun in the direction of anybody. There's so many things to teach them. The one thing you just have to be aware of is you can tell them, you can preach to them about what gun safety is, but you have to show them. You have to lead by example, just as you do as a parent and anything else in their life. Gun safety is important. So you as a parent, as the adult, as the grown up hunter, lead by example when it comes to teaching your kids actual gun safety. It was very important with us to teach our kid to where if they had a gun in their hands, it was a real gun that they were operating. And that helped us a lot to where when we were start, when she did get old enough and develop into the age to where we could start her on her rascal, which is a absolutely functioning rifle. It's just a miniature version of it. Uh, it's a single shot, it's a bolt action. And even the single shot's very important because it's all about mechanics and safety. We want her to be able to go through the repetition of loading, making sure it's on safety, firing, taking that one bullet out, putting it back on safety. We always want to unload a gun when we're done using it. But you also want her to understand that every gun that she sees is loaded. You never treat a gun like it's unloaded. That's how accidents happen. So for us, for our daughter, we want her to understand the importance of that. You never touch a gun without mom or dad by you. We don't want her to be scared of the gun. We want her to be comfortable with it. We want her to be confident. But we also go back to safety. You always treat a gun like it's loaded. If you do that, you should never go wrong. I love my little rascal. It's a 22. I love shooting it. And I shoot it all the time in our pond. We've always made it fun with her. You can do anything from shooting fruit to uh, old cans and stuff, you know, whatever you can find to plink to make it fun. But one thing that's very important that I want to stress, even though you may be out trying to shoot a lot and get a lot of repetition and rounds in, you still want to treat every round with importance. You don't want to be out there just wailing away and shooting. You need to be working on trigger discipline, which from the very beginning, even with the BB gun, it's squeezing slow and learn. It, it's amazing how far that will go, teaching trigger discipline early with a child. That way, when they finally develop into that age where they're old enough to actually go out and hunt, a lot of that stuff's come second nature. 